consider checking out Coolermaster's new line of MWE power supplies for your next PC build. They feature a clean sleek design with options for both non-modular and modular, a flat cable design and five years warranty. The quality Japanese capacitors and gold efficiency power delivery ensures the longevity of your PC hardware. For more details and where to purchase, check the links in the video description.
myself when the sun goes down
hope you all enjoyed the build video guys i'll leave a parts list down below with all of the specs before any of you guys comment down below if any of you have made it this far the reason i used a really low end cpu was because i do display builds so these aren't actually going to be used for any purpose other than for this video this will probably be taken apart in about two days time or something like that so that's why we went with a really low-end CPU. Now, a few of you may have noticed that I did change the GPU and the loop around a tiny bit, sort of mid doing all of the filling of the water cooling. Uh, the reason for this is we actually had a faulty CPU block and what happened was once we went for our first cycle, all of the water came gushing out because the CPU block was faulty and the plate was actually not on the CPU block properly. So then after we got all of that cleaned up, we decided to go for another run. We ended up turning it on and once the liquid reached the GPU block, we found out that that was faulty as well. And I was thinking like, how could I be so lucky to have two faulty things in one build? So that ended up spurting out with liquid. So this has been such a long process to create this build. It is almost midnight, uh, the day before I released this, so I'm, I apologize if I sound a bit tired or anything like that, but uh, I was meant to have this done, you know, a day ago, and just with all of the extra things that we had to do to try and fix this up, it just cut away so much time. And um, we eventually got another GPU in. This is a GTX 970. It's the only spare water block um, GPU that we had laying around, so it will do the job. It's only a display build anyway, so I hope you all enjoy the end result anyway, and um, look, I'd appreciate a like on the video or something like that, just for the uh, amount of effort that we had to go through to actually get this thing up and running. So I uh, appreciate the support guys, and I hope you all enjoy this build. A couple of acrylic panels on the front, just to give it a bit of uh, aesthetics. We didn't go too crazy with everything like that. A custom panel for the back wall, so we could bring the acrylic and water cooling down to the outside of the build and then back in to keep all of those tubes nice and parallel. We also are using the Leon Lee RGB streamer or strimer cable for the 24 pin, the nice RGB that you guys can see. And we will be doing a bit of a giveaway as well with Leon Lee. So I'm not sure if the giveaway link is open yet, but I will leave it down in the description below in case it is. So you guys can go enter that for a chance of winning I believe they're giving away the RGB cables. So I think there's like three people who are gonna be winning, so I'm going to leave the link there. You guys can enter. If it's not open yet, don't worry, there will be a dedicated video towards this, so you guys will not miss out. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Consider checking out more videos on the channel. We've got plenty of custom PCs just like this one, water cooling tutorials, reviews, DIY modding tutorials, and much more. Specs will be down in the description below, so check those out if you are interested, and we'll see you guys in the next one.